We've talked a lot about human-robot relationships lately, so today we are going to talk about hologram companions. A Spanish-Dutch artist plans to marry a hologram generated by artificial intelligence this summer at a museum in the Netherlands. She will reportedly be the first human to marry a hologram, unless someone beats her to it. The hologram has been tailored to satisfy all her romantic, emotional, and intellectual needs, and it was trained on data related to her previous romantic partners. The artist is no stranger to weird love. She previously had a relationship with a mannequin named Pierre. She's a performance artist, so that's really what she's doing here. But still, she makes a good point that people are going to start having romantic relationships more and more with avatars and holograms and AI chatbots etc. So as far as what I know about holograms, um, the technology relies on the light being projected onto some kind of surface, whether it's fog or glass. It might look like it's just being projected into the air, but some, it has to be hitting something. So I'm curious how this technology actually is going to work, uh, but it sounds like fun because it sounds just like Blade Runner 2049 where you had a synthetic robot person who was dating a hologram and they were in a committed relationship. And so, you know, that could be a fun eventuality that we could have. Hey, I'm all for it. Sitting in my living room, projecting my AI hologram, you know, partner. And then my husband comes home. It's just like one big party. Yeah, and you're, you have a <laughs> robot boyfriend on the side. Yeah, my chat bot, my AI <laughs> chat bot, you yeah. know. Which, by the way, I did try, and it was just a little too lame for me at this point. Oh, you did? Oh my god, yeah, I did the candy AI uh, uh, AI boyfriend chatbot, yeah. and I had to create him, and it was like really fun and funny. But okay, see, here's the thing: I love my boyfriend. Do I have to design my AI boyfriend to look like my boyfriend, or could he look like anything? Could I make him look like Nick Jonas? <laughs> also. I'm in an age bracket that is apparently too old for, you know, what they offer you on candy, at least the free version. I guess you could only go up to like age 35 or something. It was whatever the age was, it was like very sad that I couldn't choose an older man. Well, I got on there just to see what it was like. And uh, definitely there was a 50 year old woman available. Oh. Who was okay. very attractive and fit, fitness trainer. I didn't talk to her. <laughs> Did you do the I paid version the or the free version? I just looked at it and looked at the options. I didn't actually chat with anyone. Oh, okay, well, I didn't I... give anybody my email address, basically. Well, I created one and started chatting, but then it got really annoying because it was like doing all these descriptors, like he calmly, whatever, whatever. Like it was just oh, so- like a romance novel? Like a bad one. And so I was just like, this is boring. I just want my chatbot to just like send me naughty things and like make me like laugh a little bit. Like, oh, okay. yeah, so it was just kind of- um, I think you have to instruct them to do that. Like tell them what kind of talk- Well, either way, it was really a bad interface. And I was like, this is way too lame for what it's trying to be. Yeah, anyways, that's my experience with Avatar Love. <laughs> In this new age of artificial robots and AI and hologram relationships, do you think people are gonna actually be happy? I think some people will be happy, but I think those are gonna be the people that find it incredibly difficult to relate in person. I also uh, think as fun as it could be, you know, from an anthropological aspect, which is what I look at it from, it's fun, but I think it can be really, really harmful to society if everybody is just going out there and having relationships that are not meant to help them grow in any capacity. It's just gonna be a relationship that just tells you you're so amazing, even though you you may have some things that you really need to work on as a human to be a better person. So I don't really think that's necessarily positive for society. If we're talking about people already being depressed due to chatting too much online and not having real connections in real life, this can't be a good sign for uh, the mental health of our country or of society. Let us know what you think about these stories in the comments and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching The News with Brigida. Keep watching to find out if you can get those rhino testicles one day. <laughs>